What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Before we start with today's video, I wanna to talk to you about our sponsor, Frankenstein Creations. Now right now, if you use code EASTER22, you can get 12% off all masks. That is right, folks, you heard that correctly. If you use code EASTER22 for this week, you get 12% off all their masks right now. Which, if you guys don't know, their masks are actually sculpted, molded, and airbrushed all by them. Run by brothers Garrett and Steen with the help of their friends Alex and Justin. These brothers actually make haunt related things for scare actors by scare actors. We're talking masks, clacker gloves, you name it, they have it. Anything to do with your haunt horror related things for the Halloween season, they create. So check out FrankensteinCreations.BigCartel.com for 12% off this week using code EASTER22 at checkout. And a very big thanks to our sponsor, Frankenstein Collections. Now enjoy the video. Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, as you saw in that wonderful title, we are covering all things Midsummer Scream's Hall of Shadows. Uh, but before we get into those fine details, how are we feeling today, Tony? Feeling good. A little tired, uh, but we're feeling good. Uh, even happier now that we have an official confirmation as to what's coming to the Hall of Shadows, one of Sammy and I's favorite things at Midsummer Scream every year. Um, I actually like the line outside. That's my oh, favorite that's, part. That's always fun, too. You know, just yeah, waiting that favorite. line, going down the bridge, under the bridge, over the sidewalk. You know, that's fun. You know, I like that. But no, yes. I mean, Midsummer Scream, man, it's been too damn long, to say the least. Um, we didn't get it in 2020. We got a of a smaller version in 2021 which was still very fun awaken the spirits and now 2022 we're getting the comic-con of horror conventions back in long beach california at the long beach convention center this july 29th through the 31st it is going to be an electric weekend 100 percent. a lot of content coming out with us uh so stay tuned for that but let's get it with me content, content. Uh, but let's get to the video at hand. We got a lot to talk about, a lot of people to shout out, a lot of things to uh, get excited for. Uh, so let's start with the basics, man. I mean, Hall of Shadows uh, is returning for 2022, if you guys have not heard yet. It is returning. The uh, The staple of Midsummer Scream is coming back this year for the, uh, the fifth year. Uh, by the way, it's the fifth anniversary for uh, Midsummer Scream, so congratulations to five years of one of the greatest horror conventions ever made. Five um, years of fears, baby. Yeah, five years of bringing our fears to life. It's great. Um, the theme this year for the Hall of Shadows, Halloween Comes Home. Looking forward to that. Uh, uh, you know, anyone who's a fan of these conventions, obviously you're a fan of horror and Halloween. And uh, we got, of course, probably, it's probably going to be more of like a classic Halloween outside for the facade they're known for their facades every year themed facades last year was like a tiki kind of facade which was really cool um which had an actual like talking tiki stone that was talking to people and guests which is cool so i'm excited to see what they do this year for halloween comes home sounds like the name of a halloween film um that i would definitely watch so yeah no definitely it does sound just like a halloween film what was the name of that most recent halloween film halloween kills oh kills and what's the third one supposed to be called? Halloween Ends. Uh, I, thought it was I, I just think Blumhouse got lazy with writing. They were just like, let's just call it this. And okay, I'm, yes. But and, that's, not what the, that's not what today's topic is. Um, but yes, um, super excited. Hall of Shadows. We got 17 attractions. Um, and as Tony had mentioned previously, Cal Haunts had done like a Tiki one and they've done some other ones. But this year, um, they're going to be doing something called the Midsummer Estates. Um, and it's going to feature a small neighborhood with homes decorated for the community's annual Halloween festival. Kind of gives me some vibes of LA Haunted Hayride of a uh, trick-or-treat. So I'm really excited to see since the facade they had uh, back in 2019 was Chef's Kiss. Um, and I can only promise you that with it being the five year and of us not having midsummer for the previous uh, few years that they are going to be coming back with that fire but before we get into the 17 haunts and attractions provided let's get more of those fun facts Tony. fun facts so if you guys didn't know this the hall of shadows is a total of a hundred and hundred thousand square feet of nothing but haunts 
darkness and a lot of great haunt related things. Um, we have walkthrough attractions. We have live entertainment. Um, we have people dressed up and just an entire community there to get scared. So that's going to be a lot of fun. If you get the gold bat, which we highly suggest you get and you get quick because it is selling out quick, you get front of the line priority to all the walkthrough attractions in said Hall of Shadows, which is pretty much, if, if you've been to any haunt, front of the line is a must for uh, a lot of your first times because lines are nuts. Uh, they are insane. They are packed. So we highly suggest get that gold bat so you can skip all the lines and make sure you go through everything the entire week. And even if you like things, you can go back a second time. Um, and the Hall of Shadows will only be open Saturday, July 30th, 2022, and Sunday, July 31st, 2022, allowing the other uh, home haunts for that Friday preview night to finish up the final tweaks, the, the final things they need to finish up for your enjoyment for the weekend. So it should be great. Um, and so from that being said, all those amazing facts that you know, now you're in the, uh, the know of all these things, let's go on to what you can expect this year. And the Hall of Shadows. Um, and Sammy already mentioned Cal Haunts is doing uh, Midsummer Estates, which is going to be, I believe, a walkthrough attraction, right? It's the way it, the way it worked out previously is it's basically like the front facade. Right. And then when you go in, you can like walk in and like there's a little like quick walkthrough. It's not they didn't have actors, I don't believe. It's last like a display. Time, but... Yeah, it's more of like a display, which, yeah. I mean, is super epic nonetheless. Yeah, if anyone knows Cal Haunts, they do really good displays. So uh, let's go on to the next one, Bones Gulch. Um, cast. How do you even say that? Castake? Castake. Castake. I, 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 I was right the first time for once. I, I remember I said it before we started. You did. <laughs> You, you probably did that on purpose. Uh, I did. From the minds that brought you Beware the Dark Realm, Restless Souls Manor, and the Fear Farm Haunt, a brand new attraction is coming. Bones Gulch is proud to bring a small display of what we have in store for you this October to the Hall of Shadows. Boom, boom, boom. boom. On to Fear Next, Farm. Yes, yeah, so I was going to go. Okay. Next up, out of the great city of Victorville Valley, we have... Fear Farm. Venture deep in the cold earth beneath the farm where a labyrinth filled with pure evil awaits your arrival. Ooh. Bringing back a new maze that was brought, uh, a reimagined maze from something they've done in the past, uh, Temecula Terra presents The Crypt all the way out in Temecula, California. We've been there before. Great, great uh, haunt. Have a great time. A church and a catacomb-themed walkthrough. Explore the carnage of a church, botch, a church's botched exorcisms. Oof. It's going to be a lot of fun, Ooh. man. Not a lot of fun. Uh, onward. You're next, Sammy. Reichland Asylum. The return of Sarah Crawford, bailing from the great city of Riverside. They said she worshipped the occult. Locking her deep in the wards of Reichland Asylum and throwing away the key. Little did they know she was the least of their worries. Under the secrets of the Crawford family and the dark powers that lie deep in the corridors with Reichland Asylum, the return of Sarah Crawford. Woo! Straight to Hail Productions hey. presents Demon Creek. In Alta Loma, the town of Casket Creek has a sordid history. Is that, is that the word, sordid? Yes, yeah, sordid. I got it right. Has a sordid history <laughs> rife with witches <laughs> using black magic and wreaking havoc. The townsfolk fear that they may never escape the wickedness that hangs like a menacing cloud over the once peaceful town. But it appears that an even more sinister entity looms in the shadows. The Witching Hour. Halloween, a terrifying experience coming from Atwater. Encounter the Myers home and come face to face with the shape himself. Enter if you dare. Everyone is entitled to one good scare. Casa Calveras, a walkthrough art experience. Stroll through an. Give me a second. I'm a little tired. Intimate series of glowing peek in dioramas and uncover the heart filled tale of Jose and Gloria, the couple 
from the hereafter. A great way to introduce your kids to Dia de los Muertos since 1999. Gothic Hill Cemetery, hailing from Riverside as well. Gothic Hill Cemetery returns to the Hall of Shadows with a new interactive theatrical display based on their Riverside, California haunt. This haunt guests will encounter the prequel to the Fitzroy story in their biggest season ever. The Quail Run Carnival, Agora Hills, California. Come win some Halloween candy in a homemade vintage-style Halloween carnival. Play either Mash the Monsters or the Seance. Play a spooky vintage arcade. I got that right. Vintage arcade cabinet or spin our fortune wheel to see your future. New games added every Halloween. I really wish you were getting this one. <laughs> Exquisite Corpse, Red Water, Volume 1. In the first part of the three-part walkthrough series, Ebediah, Elijah, and Birgud Manning, children of the infamous crazed scientist Dr. Joseph R. Manning, set out a strange and gruesome journey to find their recent missing father. Step back into 1985 and join us in Red Water, Louisiana to embark through the ready pages of a mysterious old comic book titled Redwater, Volume 1. Boomers Parks. Guests begin training as a new overnight security for Boomers and encounter paranormal entities. That sounds fun. Lights out. Icon. Welcome to Club Icon. Tonight's category is Battle Royale, where two legendary houses compete to be the most iconic house of them all who will slay or sashay away. Santa Ana haunt shades of hell in Santa Ana, California. Shades of hell serves as the gateway to your worst nightmares. Everyone has different fears, and they all are here waiting for you. Corona haunt hells of Halloween from Corona. A modern look into the horror stories that kept you up at night as a child. Brave the ghosts witches and demons of halloween night the Drex society nightmare resigning from ontario california deep in the woodlands of japan stands an ancient temple originally designed to trap the land spirits of the night will you survive a peek behind the curtain in their realm or be trapped forever in their eternal nightmare the haunt with no name yet from tarzana Wandering on an eerie night, you find an unknown place. It is forgotten by time, but seems haunted and filled with mysterious and spooky things. You decide to take the time to explore what is happening at the haunt with no name yet. yet. Realm of Shadow. I think it's Hammer Manor. Is that what it's called? Hammer Manor? Hammer Ray? Hammer Ray, maybe. I don't Hammer know. Hammer Ray Manor. Good luck. Either way, it's residing from Norwalk, California, baby. Woo, woo, woo. 562, baby. 90650. I'm sorry. I love all the other haunts, but, you know, Norwalk's home. So I have to give a little extra love. The Lord of Shadow and his matron have returned to the attic space of Hammer Manor. Come find your way through this minion filled hallways and prepare to confront the evil within Norwalk, California. I just added that last part. That was just me. No, that's, that's special. That's a special part. Last, but certainly not the least, you know them. You love them. The Decayed Brigade Sliders team will return to the Hall of Shadows with not one, not two, but three incredible exhibitions on Saturday, July 30th, and another three on Sunday, July 31st. Showtime's to be announced shortly. Damn, we look like we got a stacked lineup for the Hall of Shadows. Uh, Sammy, after reading through each and every haunt, What's your excitement level at now, dude? I mean, this is the this is the event we look for. This is we get this is how we get our prefix for later in the season. These are the previews of the home haunts that we get to see to get us excited for later on in the season. What are your initial thoughts reading off all these uh haunt names and their synopsises? Yeah, I definitely think we got some some bangers on the way. I'm super, super excited. Um on a scale of one through five, I'm at like a seven. Um, cause I'm definitely, it's definitely, uh, real, it's three short months away at this point. 
and a few and some change obviously in terms of days but i mean you got some great great things here um you know some ones that i'm really excited for is this red water um you know bringing a comic book to life um I mean, obviously, I'm excited for everything, but that one stood off the page for me. The Witching Hour Halloween, because we all love um, the shape, and so we're really excited to see how that's going to turn out. Um, and then I'm I'm excited to see Temecula Terror, um, because that was one of the first walkthroughs I had gone through in 2019, um, and I know that uh, our good friends, the Bloodshed Brothers, have nothing but fire in their arsenal in terms of what they provide. Um, so I'm really excited for that um, Corona haunt because uh, that's a haunt I've wanted to go through um, the few years that I've seen the walkthroughs. Uh, and so I'm really excited to be able to experience that because I know that they put on tremendous work. So I'm really excited for that, but I definitely, I'm definitely super stoked. Right? It, Saturday can't come soon enough. I know that Friday we'll be going through um, the different merchants and things, but I mean, Saturday can't come soon enough because I want to get my hands uh, um, on these mazes and, to you know get to poop my pants baby i don't know we'll see hopefully i mean i'm the same boat man i mean i'm looking forward to each and every haunt they're probably going to bring something unique to the table that i've either never seen or uh, i'm a fan of um hashtag cookbook if you know you know um, you know you know baby the ones that stood out to me the most obviously the boomers park one that's giving me some mean like five nights at freddy fills um just a different kind of vibe i guess but it, it, that sounds like a fun time lights out icon sounds like a great time uh drex society my good friends over at drex society are, are uh previewing their new haunt for 2022 uh which is nightmare um and i'm excited to see what they bring to life um and you know you gotta give some shout outs to my 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 Norwalk natives, man. I mean, I'm uh, you know anything from Norwalk, man, is gonna be a great time, you know, because Norwalk is the place to be, man. Sammy knows it, I know it, I still know it. I live in this beautiful city that I call home, um, and I'm just happy that there's more people out there putting the the city name on the map, man, and that, and that's awesome. So Norwalk, love to all of you. But I think all these. Um, different experiences are going to have something unique to bring to the table and i'm excited to go through each and every one of them i mean i know time is of the essence between sammy and i when it comes to this convention but we're going to do our best if we don't even hit some saturday that's going to be the first thing we do sunday is you know maybe we do half saturday and half sunday and if we have time maybe go check out the ones that we liked a lot or we're just going to do all of them Saturday and then repeat, rinse, wash, repeat on Sunday. Uh, then that's you another, never know. That's another option. Depending on how the schedule looks, we, you know, when the, when the panels get announced and stuff, then we'll plan accordingly. But until that time comes, that is our plan. We're going through each and every one of these haunts, and we're going to have a great time doing it. And we're going to have a fun time doing it. And we're going to have reaction cams. We're going to have walkthroughs. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Sammy's excited. Everyone that we know is excited. I mean, the hype for Midsummer Scream 2022 is real, ladies and gentlemen. And we hope to see you all there. We hope to uh, take some pictures with you guys, hang out with you guys, be a lot of fun. Um, hoping to see Samley get so crazy in the after party, he goes shirtless. That could be a good time. That's not happening. Hashtag, hashtag Sammy shirtless. So let's get it going. I'm not trying to get kicked out of the event. For <laughs> indecent and spoke, we'll, just say, spoke we'll just say it's a cosplay. You know, you're a wrestler. Yeah, if you smoke. <laughs> uh, but it's it's gonna be a great weekend, and uh, Midsummer Scream always puts on amazing events, and we're looking forward to it. Uh, also, of course, the amazing vendors, the amazing panels that have yet to be announced yet. Only some of them have been announced, not all of them. So we're excited to see what panels are gonna be there, and we're excited to see what these vendors are selling this year. Because you know me, I like to spend money, and Sammy knows that better than anyone. Yeah, I'm gonna stop him. Yeah, Funko Pops. So, Oof, I'm screwed. He's got to pay his bills, though. Uh, but just to recap, um, is Halloween comes home is the theme. We got the Midsummer Estates as the facade provided by Cal Hans. Then we got 17 walkthroughs and attractions. As we said in the beginning, we recommend you get that gold bat so that we get that front of the line. Um, but if you know if that's maybe out of your budget, get that general admission ticket. Wait in line and enjoy because it is going to be an amazing amazing time if you like this video go ahead and drop a like below let us know which one you're most excited for in the comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe um, and follow us at twitter at knights of horror and on instagram at the knights of horror um but if nothing else we hope you have a great rest of your day and we look Last forward thing. to seeing you oh before we close special thank it. you to our sponsor frankenstein creations go check them out 
Links in the description below. They actually got a promo code going on right now for Easter. Uh, so go get that 12% off on your next order. Frankenstein Creations. Can't talk. Tiredness is taking over. Anyway, we love each and every one of you. We'll see you at Midsummer Scream 2022. Keep it real, buddy. Peace.